All right, bribes, body parts, and big bucks stashed in boxes of cereal. If it sounds bizarre, that's because it is bizarre. But those are just some of the real-life charges in a major corruption investigation. 44 people were arrested, among them three New Jersey mayors, two state legislators, and five rabbis. Hoboken Mayor Peter Camerano has only been in office for a few weeks, but already he's charged with uh, taking $25,000 in bribes. Today, Camerano said he won't step down while he fights the charges. I want to state categorically that the charges that have been leveled against me in federal court are completely basic, baseless, and I deny any wrongdoing in connection with the allegations that are contained in that complaint. In another bizarre twist, $97,000 was stuffed into a box of Apple Jack cereal as part of a bribe. And another suspect was accused of selling human kidneys for $160,000 a pop. The case brings to mind The Sopranos television show, which depicted organized crime in New Jersey. More than 130 public officials have pleaded guilty or have been convicted of corruption uh, in that state since 2001. For more on this story, let's talk to Bloomberg's Oshrod Carmiel, who was in New Jersey earlier following the story. She came back unscathed, fortunately. Uh, Oshrod, how did one guy here act as the same agent that ensnared politicians and rabbis because apparently there are sort of two different cases that were brought in at the same time? They're, they're two different worlds, um, and this cooperating witness who has been identified as a Solomon Dweck by, uh, by uh, many people familiar with the matter, um, he spanned both worlds. He, he was a member of this uh, Assyrian Jewish community, and he was a developer, and so that uh, got him an audience with, uh, with politicians uh, seeking money and it was credible that he might be seeking uh, permits or, or uh, kind of uh, any, any kind of zoning uh, changes. All right, so, so why was he doing this? He was, uh, he was working for the, he was working for the uh, you know, U.S. Uh, government. Uh, a few years ago he was uh, arrested on uh, charges of depositing uh, about 50 million dollars in a bank, withdrawing about 22 million and um, not covering the overdraft. And he's never actually been indicted, and his case has been delayed 17 times around the same time that he's been working uh, working for the government. So, not bad uh, as far as staying out of trouble is concerned. <laughs> I guess if you look at it like that, uh, what was his cover story? What did he tell the people he was meeting with? Well, when he met with politicians, he was uh, he put on his hat as a developer, which uh, which on, on some level he was. Uh, so he was seeking permits, or he was seeking permission to build things in Hoboken, seeking um, some kind of uh, permits to develop in coastal areas from the DEP with one of the state assemblymen, and he was offering uh, campaign contributions. The Hoboken mayor needed uh, needed some cash in the final days of the campaign, and he was there to provide it, but he uh, he needed a favor and. Uh, when it came to the, the, the Syrian community, he, uh, with the organ dealer, he uh, had a, somebody posing as a secretary uh, searching for an organ for her uncle. And uh, in other cases, he, uh, he posed as someone who was trying to hide assets in a bankruptcy deal. And he was, in fact, uh, um, he had filed for bankruptcy, so that, that made it credible. And he was hiding assets in an Apple Jacks box as well. What's the deal with that? <laughs> um, high-priced cereal. The, yeah, very high-priced cereal. The Apple Jacks box uh, as well was one of the, and as well as plastic bags, was uh, one of the many ways that the money was laundered. Um, he would uh, give a check, write a check out to one um, charity run by one of the rabbis. That would be uh, distributed to another charity, and then he would pull it out in cash minus a 5 to 10 percent fee that was taken off the top. All right. Sounds like a great story. Well, I'm sure we'll hear, hear much more of it. Oshak Carmiel, thanks so much. I'm sure you're having fun covering that <laughs> down in New Jersey. I'd love to see your, your cover down there. We're